I love this book, Food by Dr. Mark Hyman. This is an incredible book. I read it cover to cover, and lately I've been referencing it a lot. See, the first time I read it, it was really just for my enjoyment. I wanted to learn more, but now I'm referencing it and I'm actively searching for answers to questions. And there's a difference between passively enjoying and learning and actively learning. Because when you seek out the answer, like I'm reading the book now and I feel like things are jumping at me that I haven't seen the first time that I read the book. And it just hits different. I felt like Mr. Incredible when he was in Syndrome's lair and he put the password into the computer and he learned about his evil plan, how he's killing all the heroes and he hit one of these because he was so devastated. That's me every night. I'm, I'm hitting one of those every single night. So let's get into the video. But here's what jumped out at me. This is what Dr. Hyman said. In the book, Hyman states, eating refined grains prompts your body to release insulin which ushers the glucose from your bloodstream into your fat cells, making them bigger. Then before you know it, you're hungry again for more carbs. In the meantime, the insulin acts like a lock that prevents fat from being mobilized from your fat cells, which is why we always feel hungry and keep getting fatter. Mind you, I read this before, but this time, it stuck out at me. Okay, first off, definitions. Refined grains are grain-based processed foods like bread, rice, or pasta. Insulin is the hormone that takes the glucose, the sugar, from your blood and puts it into fat cells. On a molecular level, carbohydrates are just molecules that give us energy. We consider foods carbs when they have a higher ratio of carbohydrates compared to protein and fat, aka bread, rice, or pasta. Anyways, when I read that passage, I had a eureka moment, a bazinga moment, if you will, until I thought, Wait, what did he say? What got me was when he said, before you know it, you're hungry again for more carbs. The question is, what about refined grains makes me hungry again for more carbs? Let's walk through it step by step, starting off with that piece of white bread. This bread is a derivative of this. This is a wheat grain. Conventionally, we take out this part and this part. So we're just left with this part the endosperm, also known as starch. Starch goes into our body, is broken down, and turned into sugar. So this doesn't act much differently than this. When sugar enters our body, it's broken down into glucose. When glucose is in our blood, that hormone we mentioned earlier, insulin, is then released. When insulin gets released into the blood, it prompts the sugar to go into the fat cells. It's basically saying, hey, all y'all hyper cells, get out of the blood and go somewhere and sit down in them fat cells. This is the mechanism of how we put on more fat, how we become fat. But still we don't know how the white bread and the glucose and the insulin thing, how does that make us hungrier? In order for us to really get this, we have to understand the mechanisms behind hunger. A lot of times we think hunger is just when our stomach is empty and that's part of it, but really hunger and appetite is more intricate than that. Let's focus on satiety. Satiety is the physiological feeling of fullness. Satiety is when you push your plate away and you say, I'm full. You are satiated. The period between that state of satiation and that next period of hunger is in part controlled by homeostatic processes, meaning our hormones. And we're talking about insulin, so how can we explain the connection between foods that prompt the release of insulin and hunger. Everything we eat has a response on our blood glucose. Glucose being sugar, it makes sense that very sugary items have a very extreme impact on our blood glucose. We're talking about something called the glycemic index. What does this look like? The greater the food's impact on our blood glucose, the higher that food is listed on the glycemic index. So some foods make our blood glucose spike up rapidly, while other foods have a lesser impact where there's more of a gradual rise in our blood glucose. This may be obvious if we're knocking back a coke you know what I'm saying? A soda pop, shout out to Captain Knuckles from Flapjack. But we're talking about conventional white bread. Refined grains are high on a glycemic index. In fact, higher than table sugar. Remember, refined grains and starch act just like sugar. Okay, Johnny, so sugar spikes my blood glucose. What does that have to do with me being hungry? After blood glucose rises above baseline, insulin is what brings it back down. Remember, insulin comes into the blood like, hey, get y'all sugary butts into these fat cells. When we take in white bread that shoots our blood glucose up, insulin comes out more aggressive like whoa, whoa what is y'all do what is all of this ruckus get your into these feet Cells. Which is why the decline in blood glucose is also rapid. When we take in low glycemic index foods, insulin comes out a lot more relaxed and it kindly escorts the sugar from the blood into the fat cells, which explains the gradual fall of blood glucose. And check this part out. This part is important, vital, if you will. So after we take in that sugar from that conventional white bread, insulin's response is so extreme, pulling that sugar out of the blood, that our blood glucose levels fall below baseline, meaning we have low blood glucose. And guess what? 
Low blood glucose is an indicator for hunger. So that super sharp rise and fall makes us hungrier earlier. But this doesn't happen in a vacuum. This isn't an isolated event. It's not the end all be all. Remember, I mentioned our appetite is only controlled in part by our hormone. As this study states, sensory and cognitive processes guide meal anticipation and learned associations with anticipated reward and pleasure, helping to define overall meal quality and quantity, meaning our eating routines or even how appealing a food looks at a certain time all influence that intricate human appetite. What is all of this ruckus? Get y'all sugary ASSs into the Insulin is the hormone that takes sugar from your blood Hi mom